Claudia with Wellness Origin. We are an all-organic day spa and wellness center in Carmel, Indiana. Our entire team is so passionate about helping you to bring your health and beauty to new levels. Today I'm going to share how to develop a beautiful tan. Our team wants to see you minimize the negative effects of tanning and maximize that golden glow. First, hydration is key. Whenever you're spending prolonged periods of time underneath the sun, your body is going to be losing a lot of moisture content. So it's very important to replenish with adequate amounts of water. Whenever I am tanning, I always have with me 24 ounces of water, usually in a mason jar because this makes it very easy to see how much water I'm drinking. I usually squeeze either one kiwi or one lemon into my water and add a pinch or two of Wellness Origins pink salt for increased hydration. Tip number two is to start slow. If you haven't been in the sun for several months, you're gonna to wanna to spend much less time under the sun those first few days than if you were just getting back into the sun after a couple of weekends of sabbatical from tanning. It's very important to take frequent breaks whenever you are beginning to tan. If you don't do this, you won't be able to track how much sun your skin is getting. When I was in high school, I went on a vacation to Florida. After not being in the sun all winter, I hopped right back under the sun one afternoon and spent four or five hours under the sun without any breaks. Let me tell you, by that evening, I looked like a cherry tomato and I felt horrible. I was dizzy, I was nauseous. I could barely get out of bed for a few days. So please avoid the mistake that I did of not taking breaks when I began tanning and make sure that you are easing yourself into the tanning process. I also recommend using what I deem as the 15-15 rule. For every 15 minutes you spend tanning on your front, you should spend 15 minutes tanning your back and then continue to rotate this as you are tanning. It's also great to tan at times when the sun is a little bit more neutral, such as in the morning hours or in the late afternoon. If you tan around the noon hour, the sun is very strong and that is not the best when you are just getting back into tanning. My third tip is to protect and nourish your skin. When you begin tanning for the day, it's very essential to use a natural sunscreen. Two of my favorites are the sunscreen by the brand Kiki's or Tropical Vanilla Body Sunscreen from Eminence Organic Skin Care. Both of these products are amazing because they're non-toxic. So you are going to be feeding your body with ingredients that are actually helping the well-being of your entire body. You can also use ASEA on the body, which is a liquid antioxidant that helps to reverse the effects of sun damage. I love to put my ASEA into a little spray bottle and carry it with me so I can spray it all over my body during breaks. If you'd like more information on ASEA, visit our Wellness Origin Carmel storefront location. When you finish tanning at the end of the day, you must moisturize. You can use coconut oil, or you can use a beautiful lotion from Eminence Organic Skin Care, such as the Coconut Firming Body Lotion or the Stone Crop Body Lotion. For advanced tanning, I recommend that you use organic cocoa butter. You can purchase this for around $5 at your local Whole Foods store. In my experience, cocoa butter has always helped me to accelerate my tan, and it smells amazing. It leaves you smelling like chocolate. I wish that you will use these tips to start smelling like a tropical paradise and also to build that beautiful glow this summer. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to learn more on how to tan in a beautiful way, give us a like below. Also leave me a comment. I would love to answer any questions that you have about tanning or about wellness or beauty in general. Visit us at wellnessworginindy.com for more information on our spa and wellness center. Have a fabulous day.